guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter Basic Sorgonomics. And I wanted to talk about Twitter and Instagram today, but please go sign up for the newsletter in the meantime at Sorgatron.com where we're talking about a lot of this stuff, making content, doing the social medias, doing the videos, and, and everything going on there. Uh, I wanted to kind of comment on a story I was reading uh, here in the last uh, day uh, about uh, Twitter it apparently is getting uh, trounced by Instagram as far as user bases go. Uh, I don't know trounced is the right word when we're talking about 400 million Instagrammers active uh, versus Twitter is in the 300 millions or so. so I think it was a low 300 million. Either way, they beat them out by a few million, I guess, uh, which then kind of begs the question, and there's been the question on everybody's mind, how is Twitter going to keep making money? They're not doing well. They have new CEOs. They're kind of in a place of flux. And if you're like me, you kind of live on Twitter. A lot of people do. Not everybody. I understand that. But that's kind of the buzz place to be when it comes to uh, social media, it seems. And, and, and there's your Facebooks and everything else. And again, the tool for the job, uh, that's going to be it. Now, I think this is a good time to remember, hey, maybe these won't be around forever. I don't know what the end of a Twitter, the end of a Facebook world will, a uh, persistent world will look like. But I guess we can go back to MySpace. How did we transition to MySpace? Do you remember? Does it feel like you woke up from a dream and this is the way it always was uh, when you went to Facebook, when you went to Twitter? Because uh, if you're like me, uh, you remember a time when Face or MySpace was the place where, well, for me, I connected with people around my podcast. That's right. We had a Wrestling Mayhem show, MySpace page. We connected with people around my band, um, band, more rap group, like the Flings Poo. Um, and, uh, and it's where we communicated. We wrote on every, each other's walls. We had groups that we had discussions in, and we connected with people. I booked interviews through MySpace for my podcast, for music, for pro wrestling. That's how we did it. And I thought it was insane because we weren't using email anymore. And now look at um, if, it, if Facebook didn't, it feels like if Facebook went away tomorrow, half of the business in independent professional wrestling would just disappear. Same with music, same with the podcasting stuff. Again, how much stuff do I get to plan through? Well, both messaging through Twitter and through Facebook. I like to pull them over to emails at some point there, but not always. What does that change? You know, I, I, I don't think there was a big social media industry that rose up through MySpace. Rose, MySpace did not become um, commercially uh, profound, I guess we can call it. It's not to the point where you have a Pepsi uh, dumping millions of dollars to make sure we're talking about Pepsi on these platforms. Uh, I'm sure they did put a significant amount in there to make sure they were on top of the curve for this. But still, I, I you know... Uh, at some point, it does seem like they're, they may be the unstoppable juggernauts. And maybe this is something where they will still exist in some form, especially something like Facebook. I think it's a little more questionable when you talk about Twitter. But I think uh, your Facebook will uh, exist in some form, just like AOL, America Online, still exists to this day. But what is it? It's a content thing. Didn't it just get bought by Verizon, actually? So there's that. So what is is Facebook going to become a merger with Microsoft in another 10 years? Is Twitter going to be snapped up by Google? I hope they don't change much of it if they do that. You know, that, that might be the social media they always wanted. Maybe or maybe not the social media they wanted, but maybe it's the social media they deserve over at Google. Uh, you know, a, this this could change. Now, I don't see any dissent across, along the members, the, the, the people using Twitter. I don't think there's any issues there. I haven't seen as large of backlashes to the changes to Twitter.com as you do when there's a big change on Facebook. Even that's kind of succumbed a little bit too, I guess. But again, maybe it's just the circles that I'm I'm involved in on social media. Uh, but but you know, I guess I guess you bring it around to whatever the heck you're doing right now, it's gonna change. Uh, people coming out uh, of 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 school, and I, I know one, and and I think she's very aware of this. Uh, you know. 
coming out with a degree uh, and ready to uh, uh, attack your social medias, uh, I should be very aware that that might not be Facebook. That might not be Twitter in a little bit. Um, that idea that you get, come in on a Monday morning and they change something significantly that affects your workflow when you're dealing with your business and getting content out there on a platform like Facebook that you're not paying for. Maybe you are a little bit with ads. But uh, that is going to be the norm, and that is the thing you have to get used to. You're very dependent on somebody else's platform at this point, and you kind of have to roll with the punches and learn to deal with it. That's part of the job. That's why you're keeping up with the thing. And you're going to have to keep up with the thing when uh, Facebook, Twitter becomes MySpace, and you have to be the one to know to give up the ghost and move to the next platform. I uh, did a website redesign uh, well over a year ago uh, for somebody, and uh, they had a newsletter. They were writing one blog a month. Uh, you know, they understood that they needed to put content out there. Unfortunately, the way they were doing it, like they had a website that they designed probably in, judging by the technology behind it, I want to say 2008. They had a newsletter, but everything was so embedded. Nothing was um, findable. Nothing was, it was a, a Drupal site. And, and uh, I found so much stuff under the hood that I needed to transfer to a new fan dangled uh, Squarespace site that would actually kind of be findable. Um, and I was like, hey, you know, no, nobody's finding your stuff anymore. And they're like, well, I spent all this money on SEO. Well, when did you do that? Two years ago. That needs to be a persistent thing, unfortunately. You know, the, the SEO, and not that people would understand this right out of bed, especially somebody who's who's a, a doctor or a lawyer or or some other small business owner. They're not going to keep up on something like this. This is why they pay the big bucks for somebody else who is an expert on something like this. That, that it is their bag. Knowing that that's the case is my bag. Now, I'm not going to sit there and become your SEO expert any day, but I'm going to be able to point you to the people that will, that aren't going to be SEO. Um, and that's a rarity, I feel like, in that space. I think I just pissed somebody off at that point. Uh, but anyways, but th 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 that's exactly what those things are for. I can't go and say I'm a Twitter expert. I'm a face Facebook expert. I've, I'm a content marketer. I'm really liking that. I, I, I Somebody called me that, and I never self-identified as that. And I'm, I'm really going to kind of run with that. Now I change all my business cards, right? Uh, so anyways, uh, but... So, so again, just going back to uh, nothing's going to stay the same. Always be on your toes, especially in this game. Uh, the, 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 watch the interesting documentary. We'll leave on this anecdote today um, about a video store. It was on uh, Amazon Prime had this on there. I think it's just called Video Store if you want to look it up. And it was about a town, and they had a video store, and it started way back in the day as a as a booth, as a concession stand at a, at one of the um, at 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 the cinema, basically the local cinema, in the seventies when when not everybody had a VCR, it was a very expensive thing, and it became what it was, and now they had Blu-rays and DVDs, and but they still had some VHS of the stuff they couldn't get DVDs for, and it was finally going, and the guy looked at his business and said. Yeah, I should have saw it coming. Yeah, the writing's on the walls all around me. But I just went with it, and I just continued to do my store. And now they're gone. So if you're sitting there, and you're on Facebook when everybody else is seeing how much this uh, uh, Booka, Booka Palooza website social media thing, this new way to do things, we never thought Twitter would be a thing that you'd latch on to. You never know. Maybe Plurk will come back. Who knows? But uh, it's your job to be able to look around and say, oof, this video store isn't going to last too much longer. What else are we going to do with these movies? Let me know what you think about that. Sorgatron.com, basic sorgonomics. Sign up for the newsletter. Get more information in your mailbox. Follow me on the Twitters, at Sorgatron. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me about your questions on pack, podcasting, social media, and more, and creating things. Just like if, if, if you're somebody who's latched on, I know some people um, uh, 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 caught up with me on Periscope actually last night and said, hey, I've been following your stuff since PodCamp. Uh, let me know what you're digging, what you're not. What are you creating? 
That has been my big thing since PodCamp. I need to go bug everybody over at PodCamp, uh, message boards and stuff, and Facebook and whatever the heck we got that linked into, and say, hey, what'd you make? What'd you make? I'm going to be kind of nagging you for the rest of the year until PodCamp 11. Say, what'd you make? You make that thing yet? I don't want that person coming back to PodCamp, PodCamp 11 that talked to me at PodCamp 10 and said, I didn't do that thing yet. I'm like, great. You're doing it now? I want to hear about it. Let me know. See you guys next time. Basic Sorganomics. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.